Hello everyone and welcome to week three of Mod Spotlight. My name is Willem and I just want to thank you so, 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 so much. Uh, I just found out on Sunday that I hit 400 subscribers. That's like what, I hit 400 in about a month and a half, which for me is like, whoa. Like, I cannot believe it at all. And I am just, oh man, you have no idea how happy I am. Uh, I really can't thank you guys enough. Uh, you know, I thought, I think it's all down to the fact that I make mod spotlights and you guys seem to watch it and seem to like it even. And I feel so happy making these videos every time and I hope to make you happy. And I just, uh, I... I can't believe it. I really, there's there's actually water in my eyes because I really can't believe how many people seem to enjoy uh, my videos and it's, it really means the world to me. Uh, I wish I could express more of my gratitude more and more, but it's kind of hard, you know, through uh, <laughs> digital means, but you have no idea how happy I am to be uh, representing sort of like sort of the mods that the community makes I, actually maybe I don't represent them too much but I love making these videos and they're so much fun and they're so great to hear your feedback and stuff like that and you know I'm committed to listening to you guys and stuff like that and guys you're all awesome I really like like you guys and I cannot believe it to ask for 500 would be even crazier and I would be jumping up and down and maybe doing a video every single day of the week, which would be impossible, but still would be also possible, you know, I could work things out if that were the case, but I'm not really thinking of that right now, I'm thinking of what you guys have done for me, and it really means the whole world, thank you so much, um, enough with the speeches though, <clears throat> I am not going to talk about that. I have got some pretty cool mods for you this week. Uh, but it's been a sloppy week uh, in terms of uh, mods this week. Not so many. I got a lot of special mods from a couple of you subscribers watching. Uh, you know perfectly well who you are. And, it, you know, I'm getting a little bit of feedback for certain mods and, like, using some of them. One of them I'm using right now, which you may not notice just yet. Um, but uh, we'll get to that. A little later. Uh, right now we're focusing on this Aztec style map. Um, you can actually, in this map, you can actually travel by boat. So what happens is you open up this doorway and a boat comes out. And you can uh, travel by boat. I'm not actually going to do that because it takes forever. But it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful map. Um, and it's just... I mean, just look at it yourself. It's just got some beautiful lightning and... Um, I mean, some awesome little effects that you wouldn't really see for a, a Gary's Mod-styled Half-Life uh, type of add-on map pack stuff, uh, regardless of what type of systems uh, you're using currently. Um, and this is just awesome. There is one little funny little scare here, which I kind of like, which is when you go into the secret room. <laughs> which uh, I particularly like. Uh, that's a really cool one. Um, and also, going back to that, I'm also going to show you the player models I got today. Yeah, okay, you've seen the South Park ones, but there's also some really cool um, little uh, Dead Space uh, 2, no, Dead Space 3, sorry, um, player model packs. These ones are based off of Mass Effect. I actually also think they exist in the actual Dead Space 3. I know for Dead Space 2 uh, they exist, but for Dead Space 3, I'm not too sure. Um, but they're really, really awesome. Great detail. I'm actually going to keep this one because I like it a lot. And um, I'm just going to change that for a second. Uh, and I'm going to kill myself. Because I don't want to be Kleiner. And I'll show you what it looks like. And it's pretty darn cool. It's got some nice little lightning effects. And it just glows out. And it's just... Ah, it's very well done. I really like it. You know, um... It's maybe not the best player model I've seen. But it's the best one I've seen so far this year. So... Then again, I haven't really reviewed too many player models. So... I guess this compromises. Now, 
One of my subscribers told me about this graphics mod pack, which is called the Open Life Panel. And what this does is it's like shader pack for Gary's mod. And it's like ENB for Skyrim, Fallout, and stuff like that. But actually, it's a lot more... I wouldn't say... It's, it's easier, and you can apply a lot more things. So there's all kinds of settings that really just change your game completely. So if I take away Pick Mip, for example, which gives ultra-quality textures, you notice the texture quality goes down. But if I put Pick Mip uh, on, look at the, uh, the, the roofs in particular, you will see the quality of the actual... Um, uh, the actual quality of the roofs are a little bit more crisp. It actually looks really nice as well. There are less polygons. It's just great. Um, I'm still working with it right now, but I want to keep this as a permanent mod. I really like these type of mods, so yeah, I'm going to be working a little bit with them so I can perfect it for my uh, PC, and it gives better quality videos, generally speaking. But then again, I know that you guys want to see more of the normal type, but this is for you guys that love these graphics mods. There are two. There's a new one that came out that helps with the textures, uh, which is, I believe, if I go up here to open life paddle, uh, panel, uh, you can, no, basic, sorry, you can take uh, a little different one as well, like you can go for the uh, hex modifier, which just changes it to this dark, creepy, cinematic view of everything. Uh, but there's also some other cool ones as well. You know, there's bright, horror, Duzex, um, and all kinds of other stuff as well. Uh, so it's pretty darn good. And if you don't like any of this stuff, you can always turn it off and it's back to gray old Gary's mod, apparently, because... Apparently, Gary's mod is gray and miserable, but it isn't. Uh, so there you go. That's the graphics mod. Rambled on about that one way too long. Uh, this is the weapons one, and the first one we're going to check out is the Furby launcher. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So what happens is Furbies shoot out, and they don't stand still. In fact, this one just disappeared. They just move around, and they just do all kinds of stuff. It's so stupid. Look at these things. I'm crying just looking at them. Like, dear gosh. Uh, the madman or, or woman that made this, um, good job? <laughs> um, I don't know really what to say, it's just so strange. But it's pretty awesome, so I can't complain. Right, CSGO weapons. I don't ever or have very rarely done these type of videos. Uh, and this is a weird, weird one. Um, because this one's really trending, and it's also trending on the CSGO forums, and it's now available to vote up or down if you want it in the next pack and stuff like that. Um, pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, something's wrong with my hands. That has something to do probably with the graphics mod. Like I said, a little tweak. But uh, it's pretty darn cool. I uh, I really like it, and um, I think uh, I think it's one of the nicer skins. And I thought at one point I had to do something about these CS:GO skins that are available also now for Gary's mod. So there you go, CS:GO, wonderful. Right, not that one, not that one, not that one. Definitely not that one yet. Flamethrower. The flamethrower is the one from Alien vs Predators, and if you shoot, and it shoots fire and stuff like that. Pretty cool, does a lot of damage. However, I am getting a little glitch where it is kind of messing up uh, my game. It sort of crashes, but I'm not going to go into a crazy amount of detail on that one. Let me just move to another part of the map so I can, you know, change the scenery a little bit. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. I think it's nice. Uh, not yes, yeah, Cirrus. Now, Cirrus is a type of plasma rifle, and if you hold it, it rapidly fires. Again, very powerful. Really powerful. Reloads normally. Um, and if you hold the right trigger, it does this huge beam. Again, really awesome. I really like this one. Uh, I don't know if it's the best weapon I've used, but I, I do like it, and credit to the moderator who made it, as per usual. Alright, <clears throat> time for the one that I sort of 
try to avoid, but I guess it has to come up. Babies. No, not babies in real life, obviously. This is Gary's mod. But babies in this community. Uh, there's a, you know, there's a lot of jokes being made about, um, you know, these baby launchers that are appearing and stuff like that were basically baby shootout. And this one's trending at the moment. There are three types. I'm going through them, through some of them with you now. This one just makes a huge explosion. A lot of babies shoot out. This one throws a grenade. There we go. Run away from the baby. The next one is an automatic tactical baby launcher. I'm going to step very far away because I have a feeling this game is going to crash. Just look at how many baby shootouts. Jeez Louise, the madman that made this. I'm giving you credit for that one because this is just stupid. And it probably looks worse when I do it from here. Jeez. Now, if the military could do something like this, wars would be finished very quickly. Um, that is brilliant. I love that. I have to say... I've never really reviewed these baby launches, but I can see it. I can see many jokes about this coming up. Whoa! <laughs> That's brilliant. I really like that one. That one's awesome. Credit where the credit is due. Well done, moderator. We officially all love you. Uh, that's just awkward. And finally, we're going to choose this other one, which is quite nice. Uh, the banana bomb, by the way, works uh, for anyone who forgot about it last time. It does actually work now because I had a glitch with it and it got updated. Works perfectly. Uh, thought I'd mention it. Um, there you go. So this is the guitar and I think this is a nice thing. So what happens is it's from Metro and if you press the left trigger it plays this nice subtle music from the Metro game. And if you press the right trigger it changes to another song. And I like this one and if you press reload uh, it stops the music. But we're gonna keep it on the right trigger, and we're gonna end the video there, guys. Thank you so, so much. Please, 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 please don't forget to subscribe or like or comment. Give me your opinions. I want to hear more and more from you guys. It really means the world to me, as you know. Um, and don't forget, these moderators have put a lot of effort into these mods. Go ahead and download them. Try them out for yourself. Maybe you have different responses from what I've actually had. Either way, I really want to hear your opinion. And you know me, I will probably reply in like two seconds. Um, continue playing. Um, and also, it would be great if you guys could uh, also check out our Twitch stream on Thursday and Wednesday. I got a little special video, which is talking about a specific type of mods for Gary's mod. It will still be Gary's mod. And don't forget, also on Thursdays, we're going to be doing a lot more Counter Strike with some proper good players, not just me, because I'm terrible, but these are proper good players, and they're really good at what they're doing, and I think you guys are really going to like uh, them as well, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be awesome, please, please check them out, um, it would really, really be great, links are always in the description, Ugh. I'm tired, I really cannot thank you enough, thank you so, so much for all your support, I'll see you on Wednesday for the next video, and I'll see you next week for, mod, for the next Mod Spotlight. Thank you so much.